Hey, it's Jeremy Bowers over here today at Coal Bank Refer. Just want to reach out to you. I got Andrew Gizmondi here today. Andrew and I want to share some things that he experienced in his life and in real estate, how he transitioned from one job into another, and how he transitioned from a team into building his own business. That's what I want to touch upon today and help you guys and give back. Andrew has been very lucky to get a lot of good information from people, and it's time for both of us to give back. So, Andrew, where'd you grow up? Center City, Philly. And then where'd you go to college? Uh, Duquesne University in Pittsburgh. And what'd you do after Duquesne? Right back to Philly. Right back to Philly? <laughs> what type of internships did you do in college? Um, I had some good ones. I worked for the Steelers at Heinz Field. I worked for ESPN Radio and uh, kind of, those were unpaid. Uh, and then, you know, to eat, I worked for my landlord uh, for the last two years that I was there. And that was kind of what got me into real estate. How many hours do you think you worked in a week when you were in college? Um, 30 to 40. 30 to 40? For the last two years. And did you party at all? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so he went to college, he was able to party, and he worked uh, basically almost a full-time job, right? 30 to 40 hours. How are you able to balance all that? Um, well, college isn't a huge time commitment. So, yeah, I mean, I just, you know, type A and structure and you things like, that I think translate well to what I do now as a realtor. You like structure a little bit? As much as the next guy. Yep. So, <laughs> when you got into real estate, you left the property management business, right? And you got into real estate sales, right? Yeah, so first job out of college was property management. I was working for, not really on like the brokerage level, like I didn't have a license for it. I was working a salary job uh, for a company that owned about 40 or 50 large multifamily buildings around the suburbs. Um, it was Monday to Friday plus some weekends. It was, you know, nine to five salary. How'd you like it? Um, it was good and I think I had a bright future if I wanted to put another 10 years into waiting for things to happen. Right. And then why, <laughs> why'd you get out? Was that because you didn't want to wait? or? What? I think uh, ambition to, and also I, I've kind of always romanticize the idea of working for myself. So you're on a team before, now you're on your own, right? Yep. Um, right now you're building your own business. Ballpark, where are you going to end up this year? Um, everybody else I feel like has given it in terms of volume. I sort of track it by deals. That's I feel fine. Like that's better. Like so it, yeah. probably in the 30 deal range okay. this year. And how much business did you do last year? Uh, 19. 19. Yeah. Um, right now, being professionally coached? Yeah. Okay. Tom Ferry's company, correct? Tom Ferry and Jerry Bowers. So in the office, what's the number one thing that you like about working here? Um, the atmosphere is great. There are a lot, it's a very young vibe here, which I really enjoy. I'm, I'm 28, um, so I'm, I'm kind of on the younger end of I feel like the people that are in this profession. And I think that there's probably 10 to 12 agents that are in this office that are under the age of 35, 33 really, that are like really, really, really poised to in 10 years from now just like be the top of what's the top of this profession. And I think that's exciting to be a part of as a young person. If you're a whiner, complainer, or negative, do you work here? No. <laughs> so we're not attached to letting people go, fair? No. I let, so after this video today, I'm letting two people go. No one's sitting in this room. But the reasons why I let people go is I let them go because of lack of production, being negative, or being rude to people. Life's too short, worth each other more than anybody else. And just like being around your family, if you can't enjoy being around your family, you're going to be miserable. And people are like, Jer, how have you been married for 16 years coming up in September and you just seem like you just got married? It's because that's how we live. There's no whining. There's no complaining. Bring up a point. Get over it. Enjoy life. Every day above the ground is better. And that's the difference in this atmosphere here. How do you benefit, you think, your business from being around a positive hustler mentality atmosphere? How, how does it help your business, you think? I mean, like you are your five closest associates, right? Like financially, emotionally, that's who you are. So just being in an environment where there are top producing people who are, you know, in the same stage of their career as you are is a very empowering situation to be in. So that's one of the hardest things I have with this gig is control and atmosphere. So yeah. a lot of people think it's motivating people to do more business. That's, that's a part. 
The most important part is controlling the atmosphere, who you let in and who you let out. That's why I only can let 15% of people in because if I let more people in, the next thing you know, that person sitting beside you in the call booth pissing you off, all of a sudden you might have a deal go south that you might get mad at the person on the phone or you might not prospect as much. Space-wise, do you believe that we crowd people in here or are we selective and we who we hire? Like how much how do you feel when you come in the office space-wise? Yeah, I mean, there's a finite amount of desks that are in here. So if you just sort of open the floodgates to every person with a real estate license and hired a bunch of part timers or people who don't take it serious or don't aspire to do it as a career that they take serious, then you know, the people who actually are putting the numbers on the boards are gonna not have the ability to do what they need to do. Yeah. So next step, what's the next step for Andrew Gizmondi? You know, what, what, what's your motivation? What's your next step? Um, you set me up with a transaction coordinator. I think it's time to kind of automate that, um, which is a, I'm very systems oriented. I think that's kind of how I slowly grow the business by just like adding things in place to help me be more efficient. Um, so you've been very helpful in, in helping me grow that. Uh, and I'm looking forward to that as kind of the next frontier. Cool. Person's out there and they're in the property management business and they're making 50 grand a year, 60 grand a year. They're, they're not making benefits. that. Right, 40 grand a year? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, call it 30, 40, okay? Yeah. But they're happy, right? They're content with their life. They don't sure. want to rock the boat. What would you say to them being a person in that position before? Why should they invest in themselves? I mean, it's really just like whatever you aspire to do. Like if you enjoy a nine to five job and stick in a nine to five job, if you have the, if you would prefer, if you're a self starter, if you're able to, you know, do it for yourself and there are definitely perks to doing that. But if, if that's something that you aspire to do, selling real estate as a function of practicing real estate is definitely a better use of your time and you'll make a lot more money than you do in property management. How has it changed your life, you think? Um, I'm out of debt. As of like three weeks ago, pretty awesome. Nice, dude. Congrats. Paid for a wedding last year. That was uh, really scary, and um, I grew my business enough to sort of compensate for that, which, you know, could have just all gone on a credit card and financially ruined me for the rest of my life. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just like it. It's I'm my own boss. That's very fun and empowering and I really enjoy what I do. And you have an end date. So you notice that wedding thing. Is that interesting? Yeah. You have that end date. Yeah. You, hey, listen, if I don't pay for it, I gotta put on a credit card. You you make that bet, you put an end date. It's pretty interesting. It's another live example of a hustler having an end date, having a motivation, leveraging atmosphere, who wants to grow. So if you're a person in a property management business or you're an agent in another company, it's not getting what you want out of life. Or lastly, you're a person sitting in corporate America right now watching this video and you're wondering what next report do I have to pull for someone that someone's not gonna read, hit us up, 215-370-9107, or type in Jeremy Bowers on YouTube. How do they get in touch with you? Andrew at andrewgizmondi.com. Have a good day.